Oh, hi, I'm Kevin. So this is a Billy Mouth Bass. Not only that, this is an Alexa Billy Mouth Bass. Alexa, what's a Billy Mouth Bass? Here's something I found on the web. According to FactorPublic.com, Big Mouth Billy Bass is an apparently dead fish, stuffed and mounted, which, pinned into its with a fat face, suddenly springs to life. Waddles its but I do want to show you not the how to make this Alexa fish, but how to make it sing to whatever song I want. I've gotten so many requests from people for me to do a video on how to make the singing walleye fish. And the best way to start is to maybe start with just one fish. If you can figure out how to make the fish sing and dance to whatever song you want to play, I think that would be a good stepping stone to making a whole orchestra of fish. You see where it moved? Isn't that crazy? For this project, I recommend grabbing one of these, which is definitely not a banana. This is also not a banana. Not a banana. Not a banana. And uh, could be a banana? I don't know. So, let's open up the fish and see what we're working with here. So, the Billy Mouth Bass was made sometime, I think, in the... 80s or 90s, I believe, and they are really famous, but they don't make them nowadays like they used to. I think we have the Billy Mouth Bass here. There we go. Okay, the two cables that we'll need to cut are this one right here that controls the pivot motor, and then this one controls the mouth. Once you cut those two, you can wire them. This motor right here controls the fish's ability to move like this, and also like this. This motor that's built in here just controls its mouth movements. Run the four wires from the corresponding motor locations to each side of the motor driver. Then the four data connections from the driver to the Arduino. Connect the batteries like this, and then run the USB cable from the Arduino to your computer running your digital audio workstation. I have MIDI notes mapped out in Ableton Live to be sent to the Arduino controller that tells the motor drivers which way to direct the flow of electricity to each of the motors. So if a specific note is hit, a specific motor turns a planned direction. interfaces with MIDI so I can make Ableton send the notes to it. Do you understand? Okay, cool. I just want to start off with saying I have no degree or certifications in any sort of electrical engineering or engineering for that matter. I did learn a lot by taking a part of fish and knowing how to fix a lot of the fish. I really got my degree in art school. But maybe that's a good thing, because I have no real experience and I was able to do this, then you can maybe could also do this, and that's kind of my goal to instruct you on how to hopefully make your own thing musically, using the Teensy, or using Arduino, or using MIDI. This was also a journey for me and to going viral. How the heck did my work get over 25 million likes on TikTok? How did it end up on a late night talk show? What? What? I was getting all these offers from meme pages asking to share my work and so it kind of irked me a lot of people were trying to get me to sign over the content I've already made, you know, just to them exclusively. Why? It's just a fish singing. Have fun with it. That's... I don't think I'm going to stick with this project too long. I have a lot of other ideas. I do... I did buy a little shark. I found this thing on eBay. Uh, I'm thinking about making it sing like baby shark. Maybe I'll find some other things that are not fish to make animatronic. I'm not really looking at selling these because there's are, there are copyright concerns when you're trying to sell objects that are playing other people's music. This video is for people who requested to know how I did it. Anyways, um, I'm really thankful. If you thought this video was good, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can turn on the notifications or do all that YouTuber stuff. I will try to make up some other videos in the future. In the previous projects, I've worked with robotics, and I always love with working with new media, even though I'm not qualified. Or peace, bye. I just realized you're probably gonna ask, why don't I tell you how to make the Alexa fish? 
And the reason behind that is one, Maker Pro makes a great tutorial on how to make a Bluetooth Alexa fish that syncs up with the music pretty well. Or you could contact the original manufacturer because Jemmy made one in 2017 and they stopped selling them. So I'd recommend maybe contacting them and they can actually make them again. I really want that to happen. Anyway, peace.